Okay guys, trying here, trying surviving. We're gonna go ahead and put a wrap on this budget bug out bag. I've got pretty much everything here. The only thing I forgot to grab was a fire kit. Fire starting, but I, I do have that. So if you've seen any of the videos before, I got the bag. PC Star, something like that, Tax Star or something. It's about $25. Um, picked it up at a pawn shop. I've got a video on it. Thumb back through it and you'll you'll see that. Now, the other stuff here that's on the table, we're gonna think a little bit outside the box. I've got two five by seven tarps. I've had them for a while. I've already got paracord on them on the corners. Um, it's been in my toolbox, so it's a little dirty, but there are two of them here. Quick, down and dirty shelter. They're both, I think, five by seven, six by eight, somewhere in that area. So I can burrito up in them, whatever. I've got the heat shield that's in the water kit, so I can stay warm if it's a little chilly. Next up, we're gonna do cordage. Now this is the five C's, with the exception of combustion. Silly me, I left it in the truck. But uh, I've got some of this Walmart bank line. I believe this is number number 18. Yep, number 18 bank line. It's uh, 249 feet. It ought to be just fine for a little quick down and dirty. I've got a little bit of hank of rope here. It's not much, it's probably 25, probably 20, 25 feet, something like that. It's not much, but it'll do. Make a good ridge line, if anything. Now, along with the shelter, I still have that mover's blanket. So that's gonna go in the kit for the shelter. I can put that, I can lay on this. Now, I've been warned. Um, if it gets wet, it's gonna smell pretty bad. So I may upgrade this later, but for now, and I apologize for the, uh, for the glare, but for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it in here. And if I upgrade it later, I will let you know. So on to the knife. You remember this? It's the Charade SCHF 61. Picked it up at Cabela's on sale for $25. So it goes in the kit. Backup knife. This is the $3 more knockoff from Walmart. It's gonna make a great little backup knife. There's the water kit canteen that goes in the kit along with that I have a backup Nalgene I've been using this one for years it goes in the kit now part of the five C's they talk about or the second part of the five seed, which will be the 10, is cotton. Thinking outside the box, I don't have any bandanas. However, about 15 years ago, I bought a whole bag of these shop towels. We used to call them old grease rags or oil rags or, or whatever. They're 100% cotton. There was about 50 of them in a bag for, uh, I'm thinking it was probably around five or six bucks at AutoZone. So, I figure because I don't have a water filter in this kit yet, if I got enough of these shop towels, I can improvise myself a water filtration system. So I've grabbed probably about six or seven of them here. They don't take up a whole lot of room and I can use them for, well, what can you use them for, right? 
So we're coming up on winter time. I've got myself some wool socks, merino wool. They go in the kit. Got myself a watch cap, wool. It goes in the kit. Next up, I'll let it speak for itself. Range of beads, land navigation, give you something to read. This is the compass that I won on Inspire John's giveaway that he had uh, a while back. I did a video uh, mail call on this. It's not a, the most expensive compass in the world, but it does point north and it will work for me. I have the book that he also sent with it. That'll give me something to read. Keep your mind occupied. And I have the map that he sent with it. It's the United States. It'll give me something to look at also to keep my mind occupied along with. This was actually the price, $6.99. It was bought for a friend that decided he didn't want it, he gave it to me. So it did not cost me the $6.99. So of all of this, some of it, like these socks, I've got 10 pair of these things. Watch cap was five bucks. The shop towels, 50 in a bag for like $6 15 years ago. I mean, that's not a bad deal and everything else. I believe well, probably pretty well with the exception of the fire starting kit, we'll wrap this bag up. Everything here will take care of any needs I may have. Um, I've got the heat shield still in here. So if it gets cold, I've got the two tarps. I can lay them out. I can get me a fire started. I know, once I get the kit. Um, stay warm, you know, it's all, it's all good. And it's all gonna fit in that bag. Oh, I almost forgot. Hold on guys, hold on. I have, <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> I have a partial roll of Gorilla Tape. Ooh. How many uses? How many uses? Hmm. Okay, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the Budget Bug Out Bag. I appreciate you watching. I thank you. For your views i really do it means a lot to me your comments I, I absolutely love reading your comments if you like what you see of my content feel free to hit the subscribe button you don't have to not saying you have to i'm not hunting for subscribers um if you like this video please hit the like button share leave a comment and we will see you next time. Okay, guys, before I wrap this up completely, I just wanted to say I know I am, I don't have a first aid kit in here. And silly me, forgot to put the fire kit in here. So I thought I'd be able to wrap this thing up. I will have one more video on the other stuff. Everything that was on the table is in the bag. Um, and it weighs between 9 and, and 12 pounds. I don't have any way of weighing it right now, but it's, it's pretty light. It's, it's not that heavy. It's really not. And everything in here will keep me going. It'll keep me dry. It won't be the most comfortable uh, sleep in the world. You know, it, it's going to suck, but, you know, um, bugging out's going to suck anyway. We just make the most of it with what we got. Are there cheaper kits? Yes, there are, but you know, I feel for the money, this is a good deal. It's a great little bag and everything in it is gonna last me um, 
for, for quite a long time. So anyway, guys, we'll have one more video on this and then we'll wrap it up. Until then, we will see you next time.